Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is lecture number 10. The name of the paper is Morphology in Syntax. The chapter is Morphology. And in Morphology, the subtopic is two classes of derivational affixes. This uh, lecture is specifically for the students of BS English third semester, GDC Pabi. And it is also for the students of those colleges which are affiliated with Abdul Wali Khan University. We have been discussing derivation and this was our main topic. In derivation, we discussed uh, these items and we said that derivation was actually done from Yol, George Yol, but you can include this area into uh, the one which we have done from George Yol. And then we said that some of the English derivational affixes are these. And I told you that you could uh, try to remember some of them, if not all. Then we discussed uh, the complex derivation as a separate uh, lecture, a short lecture. Uh, after this, uh, we discussed the constraints on derivation. Again, it was about derivation. And now uh, uh, today's topic is two classes of derivational affixes. There are affixes which derive new words. Uh, but these affixes which derive new words are of two types. The first type is known as class 1 affixes and the second is known as class 2 affixes. The names are quite easy to remember. Uh, in English, these two classes are famous. They are divided into these two classes. Uh, this is uh, that first class including ITY, Y, IVE or IEL or only L or IZE or ION. This is that first class and uh, uh, the division is uh, into these two classes because they affect those uh, bases with which they attach. So, for example, if class 1 affix is attached to some base, the consonants and the vowel sounds, the pronunciation of those consonants and vowels um, is changed. So, this is the first change which takes place. The change in the pronunciation of the bases consonants and vowels. Base is, as you know, to which some affixes are attached. We are talking about class 1 affixes. The second change is that it affects the stress placement. Stress is, uh, <coughs> in a word, um, at that place where there is a, a, a force required to pronounce a word. That place is called a stress placement. So that place is also changed if uh, we use class 1 affixes. And thirdly, these affixes, class 1 affixes, they often can combine with bound roots as well. So you should remember these three things about uh, class 1 affixes. When class 1 affixes are used with uh, bases, the consonants and the vowels uh, pronunciation gets changed. Secondly, there is effect on stress placement and finally uh, class 1 affixes can combine with bound roots also. You know what bound roots are. The roots which do not come alone as separate words are uh, called bound roots. So this is that class 1. Um, this is the chart of class 1 affixes. And uh, we will try to find out those changes we talked about. These uh, three types, especially the first two, the change in the vowels and consonants, and then the effect in stress placement. For example, the first uh, um, uh, one is ity uh, in the word sane, which is s a n e. You can see that. Uh, uh, that that e a sound here is the sound it is phonological change this is a sound it is changed to a sound a is changed to a sound so uh, it is in it is sane and the sane changes to sa sanity in sanity is a sound there is difference between a a, a 
and A sound. So this change takes place when we go from sane to sanity. And the same is the case with the publicity. The word public, you know, the last uh, k sound is changed to s sound. When we say public, it ends with k sound. But when we say publicity, this is changed to s sound. So you can see this change. If the first one is uh, difficult to remember, you can take the second one and you can delete this first example. Publicity is easy to remember because it is public, a uh, k sound in public. And when ity is added, it becomes publicity. The second change is the stressed uh, shift that also takes place in this case. For example, if we pronounce it without uh, this ity, we say public. And in that case, per stress, you can see this diacritic above a sound. Uh, this is pronounced as public. But when it is uh, with ity, it becomes publicity. This L is stressed. So you see there is change in that vowel consonant. And there is change in this case vowel, in this case consonant. And there is that stress shift also because of this ity. So the class 1 fxs. They change the stress, they change the consonant vowels as well. This uh, um, word again, we have this base word as democrat. When you say democrat, it ends with t sound as we have it here. And when we say democracy, the one where we had t sound is changed to s sound. So democrat becomes democracy. Uh, there is this t and s change. But with it, there is a shift uh, in the stress as well. When we say democrat, d is stressed. When we say democracy, ma is stressed. So you can see this change taking place. Two changes, stress change uh, as well as the consonant vowel change. In this case, product, it ends with the t sound. Um, uh, uh, so we have product and when uh, and, the, and there is a shift in stress here we say product stress comes with uh, comes on a ra sound but when we say productive the stress comes on da sound so you can see that change taking place so there is only that uh, shift of uh, uh, shift of stress in this case part it ends with t sound, which is a consonant, and it becomes partial. It is changed with sh sound. You can see that consonant change in the base. Then you have uh, the word uh, part a, um, uh, versus partial. In that case, as, as I told you, t is changed to sh sound. So there is that change. Uh, the final consonant change takes place here. In some cases both, in some cases one. Both means stress shift and consonant vowel change. If we take the word uh, critic, it ends with k sound. But when we pronounce this word with i, s, i, z, e, it becomes criticized. It is changed to s sound. Uh, so this is that uh, consonant change, final consonant change taking, taking place. In this case, a nation, which is from the word native, this t uh, sound is changed to sh sound for native and nation. So that final consonant is changed. You see, um, changes takes place in the um, base uh, consonant, all sounds, as well as there is effect on stress placement. So both of them is observed here. This is that first uh, class uh, of derivational affixes, class 1 affixes. Uh, this is easy to remember in class 2 affixes. Um, when these uh, affixes are attached with the bases, they are phonologically neutral, which means that they do not change anything in the words with which they are attached. So we will discuss that one. Let me Finish it in English first and then we will do it in Urdu as well. These are some uh, typical class 2 affixes. 
ness less for li er and ish and uh, the word is prompt but uh, there is no uh, change triggered by affix it becomes promptness hair hair less hope hopeful quiet quietly defend defender self selfish there's no change um, no phonological change no change of consonant no change of vowel so there is no change however you can see that uh, if we have this word a relational this uh, relate is the root shun is a uh, uh, class 1 uh, affix al is also class 1 affix you can see this uh, al and shun these are uh, class 1 affixes so this is possible to have the root and then one and one that is class one followed by class one affix then if you have uh, divisiveness we have the word divide or device and this is the root then you have i v e and s i v e and s belong to one and two i v e belongs to one class one affixes and uh, the next is ness which is a class 2 affix here so this is also possible to have the root and then 1 and 2 but this is not possible to have the root and then the second uh, 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 class affixes and then followed by the first class affixes so the second class affixes cannot intervene or cannot we cannot come in the middle of the root and 1 so fair lessity is not correct less is 2 it is 1 so that would be wrong then however root and 2 2 combination is okay you have fair less ness that is okay so that is all uh, about it i'll do it now in urdu language as well ye do classes hum padhenge derivational affixes ki और हम जो बुनियादी तौर पर पढ़ रहे हैं वो डेरिवेशन है डेरिवेशन को हमने योल से किया था उसमें हमने ये डायग्राम शामिल किए थे फिर हमने ये बात की थी कि कुछ इंग्लिश डेरिवेशन एफेक्सिस ये हैं इनमें से का धोखा अगर आप याद कर लें तो अच्छा है फिर हमने कॉम्प्लेक्स डेरिवेशन की बात की थी एग्जाम्पल आपके सामने है और हमने कंस्ट्रेंट्स ऑन डेरीवेशन पैलक से लिख दिया और अब ये टू क्लासेस ऑफ डेरिवेशनल एफिक्सेस तो इंग्लिश में हमारे पास दो क्लासेस हैं डेरिवेशनल एफिक्सेस की ये वो एफिक्सेस हैं जो एक पार्ट ऑफ स्पीच से दूसरे पार्ट ऑफ स्पीच में को डिराइव करती है तो हमारे पास क्लास वन एफिक्सेस हैं और क्लास टू एफिक्सेस हैं क्लास वन एफिक्स जब किसी बेस के साथ आता है तो इसके कॉन्सनेट्स और वावल्स में चेंज लाता है प्रोनसिएशन में और इसके स्ट्रेस प्लेसमेंट में भी चेंज लाता है और तीसरा ये कि बाउंड रूट्स के साथ भी ये इस्तेमाल हो सकते हैं तो ये आ, क्लास वन के एफिक्स हमने डिस्क्राइब किए जिसमें से एक आई टी वाई है और इसको हमने पब ये दूसरा एग्जांपल ज़्यादा मुनासिब है पब्लिक में हमने देखा कि पब्लिक में क पे ख़त्म हो रहा है लेकिन जब आप पब्लिसिटी कहें आई टी वाई इस्तेमाल करें तो ये सो होगा तो ये कॉन्सेंट चेंज इसमें आया स्ट्रेस चेंज इसमें यह है कि जब हम पब्लिक बोलते हैं तो पप स्ट्रेस है लेकिन जब हम पब्लिसिटी बोलते हैं तो पब्लिसिटी में लप स्ट्रेस है तो यह स्ट्रेस चेंज भी हुआ इसी तरीके से डेमोक्रेट टप खत्म होता है डेमोक्रेसी स इस पे चेंज हो गया है जब हम डेमोक्रेट बोलते हैं तो डेप स्ट्रेस है जब हम डेमोक्रेसी बोलते हैं तो मप स्ट्रेस है प्रोडक्टिव प्रोडक्टिव में आई वी ई को ऐड करने से जो स्ट्रेस शिफ्ट है वो वाक होता है यहाँ जब हम बोलते हैं प्रोडक्ट तो रप स्ट्रेस है और जब हम बोलते हैं प्रोडक्टिव तो ये डप स्ट्रेस आता है स्ट्रेस चेंज हो जाता है दोनों चेंजेस यहाँ नहीं है स्ट्रेस चेंज है इस तरीके से पार्ट से पार्शल बनता है और पार्ट ट है पार्शल में श है ये चेंज आया और ये फाइनल कॉन्सेंट चेंज है सिर्फ क्रिटिक में ख पे ख़त्म होता है लेकिन जब आप क्रिटिसाइज बोलते हैं तो स उसमें तब्दील हो जाता है और 
صرف یہ فائنل کانسنٹ چینج ہے اسی طرح نیشن میں فائنل کانسنٹ چینج ہے نیٹیو سے نیشن تو یہ ٹا شا پہ تبدیل ہو جاتا ہے فائنل کانسنٹ چینج ہے تو یہ تو ایک کلاس ہو گئی دوسری کلاس جو ہے کلاس ٹو ایف ایکسس ہے یہ فنالوجیکلی نیوٹرل ہے یہ کوئی اثر پیدا نہیں کرتی کوئی تبدیلی نہیں لاتی اس کو پڑھ بھی لیتے ہیں تاکہ آپ کو سمجھ آئے it is common to distinguish between two types of derivational affixes in English دو طرح کے derivational affixes ہیں انگلیش میں class one affixes often trigger جو class one affixes ہیں یہ عموماً پیدا کرتے ہیں changes in the pronunciation of basis consonants and vowels base کے consonants اور vowels کے pronunciation میں تبدیلی لاتے ہیں and میں affect stress placement as well اور یہ stress کی جو جگہ ہے اس کو بھی تبدیل کرتے ہیں in addition they often combine with bound roots یہ bound roots کے ساتھ بھی combine ہو سکتے ہیں as in the last of the examples in table 4.9 میں جو آخری example ہے یہ bound root کا ہے اور جس طرح یہ net اور shun اور nation یہ bound root ہے تو یہ اس کے 4.9 کا آخری example ہے پھر ہم نے اس کو discuss کیا یہ تو ہو گیا اس میں کوئی اسی بات نہیں ہے ٹو والے میں کوئی چینج نہیں آتا ہے ان کنٹراسٹ کلاس ٹو ایف ایکسس ٹین ٹو بی فنالوجیکلی نیوٹرل یہ فنالوجیکلی نیوٹرل ہیں ساؤنڈ تبدیلی نہیں لاتے اٹینڈ مائل ہیں اس طرف ہیونگ نو ایفیکٹ آن دی سیگمنٹل میک اپ جو ان کے سیگمنٹ سے ٹکڑے ہیں ان پر کوئی فرق نہیں آتا آف تو بیس پر اینڈ آن سٹریس پلیسمنٹ اور سٹریس میں بھی اس پر کوئی فرق نہیں آتا تو اس میں یہ ہیں آپ دیکھئے ہیر ہیر لیس کوئی تبدیلی نہیں آ رہی ہے اس میں as the following example is straight a class 2 affix cannot intervene between the root and a class 1 یہ root اور class 1 کے بیچ میں اس کو intervene کہتے ہیں 2 نہیں آ سکتا باقی combinations آپ نے پڑھے یہ ٹھیک ہے notice that all combinations of class 1 and class 2 affixes are found in English words سب combinations ہیں except one ما سوائے اس ایک کے جس میں ایک کلاس ٹو سفکس فالوڈ بائی ایک کلاس ون سفکس ٹو کے بعد ون یہ نہیں آتا تو یہ ڈسکشن ہوئی ٹو کلاسز آف ڈیریویشنل ایفکسز کی کلاس ون ایفکسز کلاس ٹو ایفکسز کلاس ون ایفکسز جس بیس کے ساتھ آئے اس بیس کے کانسورنٹ واولز کے پرنسیشن میں تبدیلی لاتا ہے سٹریس پلیسمنٹ میں تبدیلی لاتا ہے اور یہ کمبائن ہو سکتا ہے باؤنڈ روٹس کے ساتھ بھی مثلا یہ جو آخری اگزیمپل ہے ان میں ایس این اے ٹی یہ باؤنڈ روٹ ہے اور اس کے ساتھ شن آیا ہوا ہے so that's all for now about two classes of derivational fxs thank you and good luck